Hello, welcome to Maths with J. We're going to find the inverse of matrix A by using cofactors. So let's write down the formula that we're going to use. So we've got the adjugate or classical adjoint of the matrix A divided by the determinant of matrix A. So let's start off with the easy part and work out the determinants. So we can choose here any row or any column. And the best thing to do is to choose the one with the smallest numbers in it. If there's zeros in it, we go for that, but there are no zeros here. So I think the best uh, one to choose is the first column because that only has ones and a minus one. So we need to remember what signs we're using. They alternate. So we'll just write them all down for completeness. We're using the first column, so we've got plus, minus, and plus. So what we're doing is we're multiplying. So for completeness, let's write down the one first of all, positive one, multiplying the determinant um, two minus one, one, four. And then we've got minus and then one. And the determinant this time is two, two, one, four. And then for the final elements in the determinant we've got a plus but we've got minus one multiplying it let's just uh, give ourselves some more space and then that's going to be multiplying the two by two determinant two 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 minus one so fairly straightforward to work out, we've now got 2 times 4 subtract negative 1 times 1, and then we're subtracting 2 times 4 minus 1 times 2, and then subtracting 2 times negative 1, subtract 2 times 2, which is 4. So we've got 9 minus 6 minus negative 6, so plus 6, so the determinant of matrix A is 9. So we can now go on and work out the adjugate of matrix A. So let's um, clear this away. Right, so working out the adjugate means that we have two stages. For the next stage, we want to work out the transpose of A first of all. So that means we're swapping the rows and columns. So instead of 1, 1, minus 1 being the first column, it's the first row when we're looking at the transpose. So 1, 1, minus 1. And then the second row will be 2, 2, 1. And the third row will be 2, minus 1, 4. So that's the transpose of our matrix. So that's the easy part of finding the adjugate. The next stage is to work out what the cofactor is for each of the elements in the matrix. So we need plenty of space for this. I'm going to start off by writing in the signs. So the same signs as we had earlier. So these will alternate, so plus minus plus so the signs are alternating plus minus plus so for the first element we're looking at the determinant 2 1 minus 1 4 so that's going to give us 8 subtract negative 1 the next one will be 8 minus 2 and the last one negative 2 subtract 4 
So that first row will look familiar to you from the calculations we've already done on the determinant of the matrix, but the other two rows will look uh, different. So next one, we're looking at the, um, the first column, the second row. So there we're going to have 1 times 4 minus negative 1 times negative 1, so that's going to be 4 subtract 1. And then we've got 1 times 4 minus negative 2, so 4 minus negative 2. And then we've got 1 times negative 1 subtract 1 times 2, so negative 1 subtract 2. And then the last row, we're going to have 1 times 1 minus negative 2, so 1 minus negative 2. And then 1 times 1 minus negative 2 again. And the last one, we're going to have 1 times 2 minus 1 times 2. So 2 minus 2. So now it's just a matter of working out what those values are. So we have got 8 plus 1. And then we've got negative 8 minus 2. So that's negative 6. And another negative 6. And then negative 3. 4 plus 2 is 6, and then we have got negative, negative 3, so plus 3, and 1 plus 2 is 3, another 1 plus 2, but then we've got a negative in front of that, so negative 3, and the last one, 2 minus 2, will give us 0. So that is the simplified form of the adjoint or the adjugate. And now we're ready to use the formula. So let's just uh, give ourselves a bit more space. Right, so we are now ready to substitute into our formula for the inverse of A. So all we need to do is to find the ninth of the matrix we've just written down. So here we are. And we could take the ninth inside, or it's actually simpler just to take the 3 inside, isn't it? So we don't have lots of um, fractions. So let's, so let's divide each number inside by 3 as we've multiplied the ninth by 3 to get a third. So dividing everything by 3, we get 3 minus 2, 2, minus 1, 2, 1, 1, minus 1, 0. So that is the inverse of matrix A. You might like to check by working out the product of A and its inverse. You should find that you do get the identity matrix. Of course, you could do that the other way around, multiplying the inverse of A by A, and that should also give you the identity matrix.